My fellow sons of Sanguinius, fellow inductees in the Ninth Legion, have I got a review for everybody. This is Bruce and Studs, and welcome back to the channel, my brick family. And today, we're going to be reviewing the Blood Angels regular intercessors between the Joy Toy and the Warhammer 40k collaboration. So this is one of those sets in which I have been looking forward to so much to reviewing because obviously I am a Blood Angels player and Blood Angels fan. So these models are very akin and close to my heart and I will probably be gushing as well as probably fanboying over these models because they're very, very cool and very, very awesome to look at as well as to play with. Um, I mean display, because older people don't play with their action figures. We just display them. But anyway, I will show you what we have. So this is the first intercessor that we will be reviewing with the chainsword as well as the bolt pistol. Or heavy bolt pistol. I can't figure it out. You let me know what it is. The second intercessor over here with the auto bolt rifle that is less adorned than his brethren and finally we shall be reviewing the lead of the whole entire team which is your blood angels intercessor sergeant so we will see if these models were definitely worth the wait to get without further ado let's jump right into the review my brothers of the ninth legion it is finally time to open up this particular box and review the Blood Angels Intercessor. So this one is based off of the Blood Angels Assault Intercessor, and we shall see what the difference between all of them are. Okay. And now we have unveiled Brother Assault Intercessor. Actually, this may be a regular intercessor too, number one. So let's take a look at this person's armaments and see what they have. So with the Astartes Chainsword, let's see what we have when it comes to the most prominent weapon in the Space Marines arsenal to see how they are going to gut the Emperor's enemies. So. Looks like we have some very light highlighting over here, which is nice. It sets the black apart and lets it pop a little bit. And you can see that there are some, sh like a dry brush kind of look over here on the teeth of the chainsword, which is really nice. It adds a very accurate touch to the sword itself. And then you have the hilt of the chainsword, very accurate to the subject matter when you're looking at the miniatures and let's look at the skull over here it's really nice except that you know there's maybe some painting issues over here there's some black that has blood from the handle onto the skull there is maybe a small painting issue over here but it is a very accurate representation of an astartes chainsword very cool Let's put this off to the side. All right, I believe this is either going to be a bolt pistol if it's a regular intercessor or a heavy bolt pistol if it is a salt intercessor. And I think you're able to push the clip in, which is really nice. Yeah, it appears that you can actually pull the clip out. Probably if you can warm up the parts, you can pull it out again. It's kind of tough to pull out right now, so I'm not gonna even bother. All right, with the bolt pistol, again, you have the gunmetal brushing over here. It looks like the gunmetal is a little bit uneven. As you can see that there's some areas that are lighter than the other ones, but I guess this would be very, very close to reality because you would have wear and tear on your bolt pistol if you were just slinging around the whole entire time. Uh, there are a lot of mold lines that I see over here. Nothing to really bother me. And it looks like there is also some light highlighting that occurs around this bolt pistol as well. I like the highlights again, as you know, if you've seen all my videos, I think the highlights are actually maybe more even more important than the shading on the model. So this is the bolt pistol and this is the auto bolt rifle. What's interesting about this is again, 
usually what happens is if you have an intercessor, it's either an assault or a regular intercessor. The assault comes with these two, and then the regular intercessor comes with this auto bolt rifle. So the bolt rifle has, I believe, a lot less highlighting than the rest of the armaments that are there. You do have some bleed issues here with the casing onto the bullet itself. What I will point out here is the strap is of a very, very soft material. It's likely of the same material that Joy Toy used to make all the capes for the Gravis Captain as well as the Librarian. So it's a very pliable, soft material. And looking at the bolt rifle, again, you see a lot of the similar gunmetal brushing as you see with the rest of the stuff, just like the chainsword as well as the bolt pistol. This is, again, a very accurate representation of a bolt rifle. All right, let's look at the model itself. Now, unfortunately, it does not come with a separate head like the other models do, but this is actually pretty good detail here. And as you can see, the combat knife fell out. And what's cool about this combat knife is you can pull it in and out like you saw here. And it is fully functional and it is, again, highlighted and weathered. I do like the extra touches that Joy Toy has put onto this blade over here. So this is comes with a chock full of different armaments, which I really, really like. And this attaches to the belt back here through a peg mechanism that you could just put back over here. Why? It's a little hard actually to put back, but here you go. All right, snap back into position, ready for combat. All right, so let us look at our intercessor. It is very accurate. I'll be honest with you in terms of keeping within the lines. So the lenses, there, there's no bleed with the green going out to the red or the red going out to the green, which is really nice, very accurate. You can see that there's a ton of shading that goes on in the crevices and recesses here, which is really cool. I would have preferentially liked to have like a sort of orange highlight on the sides as again the highlights really make the model pop but it's nice that joy toy has put shading around in the backpack area in the recesses of the armor plates i'm not complaining over here this is a very very well detailed model so with the chest plate itself there are highlights which is nice however i'm not sure if these are real highlights or there are some painting issues over here, some bleed, some scuff issues. Not really enough to bother me from afar. If you look at it from afar, it doesn't really stand out too much, but when you look at it really close ahead, that's when the issues come up. So let's look at the iconography, the Blood Angel's tears. So as you can see here, there's some bleed from the, the tear onto this gold part itself. I'm not sure the split is supposed to be here, but regardless, I really like the touches that Joy Toy has put on this one. Let's take a look here. It looks like you have highlights in between the armor plating here. Again, a very cool touch. Let's flip this around to see what's in the back. Looks like you have a tome of some sort that is roughly highlighted. And then like I mentioned to you, this was the combat knife and this is the empty holster. I, apparently for probably the bolt pistol. This is actually a fairly dark color in terms of Blood Angels colors. Just like with the Ultramarines, the Ultramarines blue tends to run a little bit darker. They're usually lighter than they are. Same thing with the Blood Angels. Uh, we usually use Mephiston red as the base color for the Blood Angels, and this looks like more of a darker crimson kind of color. Let's take a look at the pauldron and it does have a nice highlights where the wings are up here and then it does have that nice gunmetal brushing here. So as before, there is full articulation as I spin the Space Marine's arm 360 degrees. It has a very high degree of posability and you can pose it however you want. 
I suppose the only limitation is the, actually there really isn't that much limitation. You can do this with the Space Marine. It appears that the backpack you can take off and put back on with the regular mechanisms as you saw on my other review videos. So, so far so good. I really like this guy. Let's move on to the second intercessor. All right, and here we have the second intercessor. It doesn't seem like there's that much of a difference in terms of armaments from the first to the second one. So we're gonna quickly look at the chain sword. I'm gonna show you here and then quickly put it back. No difference there. With the bolt pistol or it could be heavy bolt pistol, there is no difference over here too. I pushed this casing in before I had a chance to take a look at it. It doesn't seem like there's any bleed issues between the bullet to the casing on that side. And then on this side, there's no problem either. So this is pretty much the same. Auto bolt rifle, again, is the same soft material, same construction, light highlighting all around, if any. But let's look at the meat and potatoes of this whole entire model, which is the intercessor himself so this guy is probably of your regular intercessor he doesn't come adorned with any of the iconography on the first one as you see over here as i put this guy side by side first one has a lot more so this one does actually come with an extra pack so you need to put the pack back on as such you push it in and there you have it so these extra packs, it's nice that it's highlighted, although the highlighting is a little bit rough, as you can see here. However, it's nice that they put the highlights on a black piece because it makes it stand out. If the highlights weren't here, this would look like a gigantic black blob and very, very boring to look at. So if you know how to paint these models, you always need a base coat. You need a shade as they over here and then you wanna highlight it to make things really pop out and stand. So at least with the black areas, they decided to highlight it, which is really nice. So the nice thing about these models is that they have, again, posability. So you can have these models grip different weapons as such. He's supposed to have his Astartes chainsword as such. And the hand, as you've seen through my other videos, they are very soft and pliable so that they can grip whatever armaments that you put in their hand and then the next thing i'll do is to put the bolt pistol inside of this one it is curled as if it's supposed to wield a bolt pistol and this hand is of the same soft material that you find on the in the capes as well as the auto bolt rifle here you have a fully kitted and outfitted blood angels intercessor ready to do battle there's really nothing much to talk about for this second intercessor he is unfortunately the most boring one out of the three models that i have so without further ado let's move on to the sergeant all sergeants actually come with a special card this sergeant's name is called ronian you can see over here sergeant ronian the regular intercessors are i guess of your grunts so they're not going to have a special name all right, folks, you have the sergeant over here. The sergeant looks like he's kitted with pretty much the same stuff that the other intercessors are. So you got the chainsword and the bolt pistol or the heavy bolt pistol. The difference, however, is this guy over here. So you still have your regular auto bolt rifle as evidenced by this casing here. And the biggest difference, it's got a auxiliary grenade launcher that you can use that is supposed to represent either a frag or a crack grenade which is here in this bandolier so with the bandolier it is also made of the same soft pliable material that you would find on the capes and the hands let's see if there is any kind of issues with this so again it's nice that there are some kind of messy highlights but it's nice that they put the highlights there this is the soft material that i'm talking about it's like there is some bleed issues with the bullet brass color onto the bandolier itself as well as some painting over sprays over here so let's look at the sergeant himself with the blood angel sergeant you can actually tell the difference between the regular one obviously this is a heck of a lot more adorned than your regular intercessor you can tell this is a sergeant because of the blood tier here 
You can also tell it because the pauldrons on the side are actually filled in with black instead of your red, as well as this side's filled in with black instead of the red that you find. Let's take a look at the sergeant's head. And it appears again, the painting is really good. Looks like the green is staying within the lenses of the helmet. You get a lot of shading as you can see over here. So let's just look at the details of this sergeant. I've never seen this kind of detail being affixed on a Blood Angels Intercessor model, but it's a cool blood vial as well as the iconography of the blood droplet here. It looks like as if they have some kind of like silver material underneath and then coated it with a almost a clear glaze or a red coat, which is what I actually use when I paint my blood angels. And then you have a gigantic red blood tear. It looks like there might be some painting issues here where the, the red glaze may have rubbed off. And you have the purity seal that you find a lot on all of the Space Marines models with the uh, high, highlights up here and then some shading within the recesses. So very nice touch over here. The sergeant comes with his pack as well as the holster. Both the pack and the holster are highlighted, which is great. I love that. You can detach the backpack as usual from the rest of the Space Marine action figure itself. You push it back in it's very easy to do we have the brothers in arms all together now for the wrap up of this review so what i honestly think about these action figures well considering that i am a blood angels fan i'm completely biased and very enamored of these action figures they did a very very great job of mimicking all the iconography as you see down down here as well as the blood tears over here and capturing the essence of Blood Angels through and through. I mean, Joy Toy really has been killing it in my opinion. They do a fantastic job of mimicking what Games Workshop's vision is and executing it. Granted, yes, there are some paint issues that you see here and there, but it's nothing to really bother me too much about. What's really nice too is that there are some highlights even though that it, the highlights are a bit uneven in my opinion, but it's hard for a machine to actually get these things into these areas, I believe. But regardless, very, very accurate representations. I'm very happy with these Space Marine Intercessors. These definitely are going to be displayed very proudly in my cabinet. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate your continued support. We are definitely going to be doing a heck of a lot more of these Joy Toy and Warhammer collaboration review videos, and I hope to see you in the next one.